Hello, Michael Kinsler from QTEL Wholesale Limited here in Ireland. And we're going to move on now with the second tutorial here on the admin side of your new shopping cart. And here it is here is the front end. Went through it briefly there on the welcome. Basically, you'll get a username and password and you'll just log in and this is what you'll actually see. Now you don't have to have any experience in computers, don't have to have any experience in, in any web design or just about anything. You can actually run from these buttons here your complete website. Hard to believe but it's true. You can actually run this yourself and make all the modification changes yourself. You don't need to rely on any designers or anybody. So you've just got this now and you're wondering what do I do next? So basically just remember now this is only for training. You won't have any of these set up. So I'm going to show you how to set these up. So the first thing you do is you go into system and you go into settings. Now this is the most important part. The first part you do in the search engine optimization of the actual website. And just a quick note here, if you're actually going to be doing this, you're actually better off using Firefox. Because Firefox is quite fast and it's easy to use. And to be quite honest with you, I like Firefox and the story. Uh, Internet Explorer has no patch on this. And to be quite honest with you, open source Firefox cannot be beaten. But anyway, I'm going to be using Firefox, so just make sure that you have Firefox downloaded, it's free to download, and installed, and do all your video training, and just follow me, that's all you have to do. So now I'm going to take you through the store name, title, mega, what is all this you're asking me? So let's go through the actual store name, now I've got it down as, and I'll bring it in here, I've actually got it down here. I've actually got it as e-commerce store online web design $120 per year so if we'll have a look on the website and see where I've got that and there it is there can't go wrong okay so that's your store name so you can change that to whatever you want now we come back to the second part which is the title now if we bring back that notepad again I'll actually show you that this is how Google see you okay this is how you're gonna appear up in Google now I've just put in a couple of words here nothing really special but you put down your keywords for search engine optimization and this is most important that you get this right hence this is where I'm starting so if you look at your website you'll see e-commerce let's bring that back up again let's bring that notepad back up again you'll see e-commerce store online web design free hosting unlimited there is there okay and that's your title all right that's basically how it's seen I'll just try that to one side actually uh, let me get rid of it over there now how do I actually find out my keywords in here using Firefox fairly straightforward go up to view and go up to page source open up that and I have it here opened up already I'm gonna maximize that out so you're faced with all this stuff here now and you're thinking to yourself now I don't understand a word of that <coughs> and you don't need to there's nothing you need to understand below this line here you see that there title oh, I'll just take that highlight off title 25 words in there only do not go beyond 25 same with the description and I'll show you the description and I'm actually if you look at there at the end of it it says free hosting now I'm just gonna throw that to one side and I'm gonna show you this now this is your description this is your title and this is your description so just remember that now because when you make a change here it's instant on the website so I take out free hosting 
and all you need to do then is once you change to here you just save here and a little boy will come up success there we go so you go back to your website and you refresh see this blue button here refresh and you can't see any changes oh my god what's happened there no change but there has been a change go into view page source it will come up here and remember I had the free hosting this is the one this is what's now see content management system and this is the one I had earlier on free hosting it's gone so remember now when you're doing a change you need to refresh the website very important you remember that refresh after every change even if you change a comma or anything and that's very important again 25 25 keywords you can't go too many over here because what will happen is you'll actually go beyond the actual script itself so keep that one fairly straightforward your title 25 25 and then you've got your e-commerce shopping I that's your store owner you could put you in your own business name in there your address in there um, and then you put in the email address which you'll be issued with if it's not in there already and your telephone number your fax number you can't change this because this is the bronze package and basically this is the simple a very effective uh, web template now we still haven't finished here and this is just on the first bit this is the actual HTML editor and what I do is I'll go through this on another tutorial and I'll actually take take you through this and show you how to work all these buttons and basically it says welcome to the demo store web design again here it is here welcome to the demo store web design so you don't need to go too many words here you can actually write in as much as you want in here and basically every time you do something here it will actually push automatically push this down here so you don't need to worry about that so if I take out the web design and just welcome to the demo store what I'll do is then I'll save the changes and then I will refresh here and you're looking to see these will disappear right in front of your eyes refresh gone that's how fast it is that's what happens when you do an instant refresh and then save the changes and that's basically how the whole website works you just make a change if you're not happy with it you can actually go to the cart the, sh the front end of the shopping cart this would be the front end this would be the back end and you just check the changes so even images even when you upload a product go and have a look or a category refresh and go and have a look and see what you see if it's right and that's what I do I have a f quite a n number of e-commerce uh, shopping carts on the on the um, selling and that's what that's how I do it and I haven't failed yet I'll get through all the rest of it now it'll be fairly straightforward but I do a video on each one so you don't have to worry about going through each video you just pick up the ones you don't understand okay so I'll move on then to the next buttons here and I'll see you at local and that'll be the next video okay thank you